Today is very strongly in my heart about the power of God. Yes, his word, the gospel, is power. The revelation of him is power. When we able to and when we read the Bible, it's wonderful for the word of God as the written word how suddenly minister us and will be a rhema that means a live inspiring now revelation word from the Lord. All my life after salvation, I learned to walk with Him. This is basically what I never want to be miss. Honestly, I may feel so crazy if my the prayer, the fulfilling fulfilling my life with his power with his energy and his word if it's not happening I feel really a little bit crazy and all day is just not matching but when I feel with the Holy Spirit and I I can be with him as a one. To whatever I do, whatever happening, even good or look like it's not good, but also anyway is good, <laughs> I know it's under his protection, under his direction. Under his permission, I just go on and I can be in the situation. I'm not necessary to react immediately with my ego, but I can trust for he give guidance and direction. So therefore, the most powerful things this time, when we have a spiritual battle against this virus, fulfill with the Holy Spirit. Fill with God. Fill with Jesus. Jesus is the center. You can have many directions and many different revelation, but if your life is centered in Him, through Him, and for Him, like you can read in the Bible, Colossian letter, chapter 1 and verse 16, you can have secured for everything that's happening, all things for, for good, as you did your part. So I'd like to encourage you for one of the biggest and strongest protection under this spiritual battle against the virus every day spend time and be finished finish your prayer by faith and let your life be one with him 
It's the power. Amen.